So today we're going to talk to you guys about installing a resistor on a bi-xenon relay harness. Some vehicles require the use of a, a resistor or load resistor in order to avoid any sort of flickering or lamp out indicators on the vehicle. Uh, what happens is when you install a relay harness and you install an HID kit, uh, you're not actually putting any draw on your uh, vehicle's stock headlight harness, so the car is thinking that your headlights are burnt out. So what we have is we have a, a 50 watt load resistor uh, item number on our website is rfix and what that does it simulates a 50 watt load and therefore tricking your vehicle into thinking that your um, headlights are your stock halogen bulbs so on a low beam only this is very important on a low beam only HID conversion kit this component is completely plug-and-play it's modular plugs right in uh, no wire taps required however on a bi xenon kit uh, unfortunately it's not plug and play and the reason being is on a bi xenon kit the stock headlight harness connector this is an H4 connector for example but this would apply to H13 or 90047 there's three wires and the reason there's three wires is you've got your uh, your um, your low beam wire your ground wire and your high beam wire on a, on a low beam only kit you really only have to worry about two wires because there's no second filament so again, on a, on a, on a bi-xenon kit, there would be three wires because you've got your low beam, high beam, and ground. Now where you need to install the load resistor is you need to install the load resistor across the low beam circuit. Um, in this case, the ground wire would be your, posit your negative wire. Uh, your white wire would be your positive wire. So if you take a look at the resistor, essentially all you would need to do is you would need to take uh, just to show you here, there's a black wire and a white wire coming out of each end. You need to put these two wires across, connect them to the these two wires. So white to white, which would be low beam to ground to power, and uh, ground to ground. And the way you accomplish this is by simply using what's called a wire tap. And for those of you that are not familiar with the wire tap. All it really does is enable you to connect two wires. Um, yes, you can solder the wires. You can even cut these connectors off if it's easier for you, but if you do, just make sure you're terminating them properly. Uh, and all you would do is, in the case like this, essentially slide one wire in. You slide your other wire in. And there's actually grooves in this thing. And what happens is there's a little piece of metal I don't know if you can see the metal right there. And when you push this down, it connects the two wires together. So I'm not going to do this, but for the purposes of this video, you understand how that would work. So you need two of them. So you would do white to white. And in this case, you would do black to black to the brown wire. Sometimes these just need to be opened up a little bit. And That would be it. That's how you would do it. Um, these resistors get really hot, uh, so you want to make sure you're mounting them accordingly. Uh, you don't want to mount them on plastic or anything that's going to be damaged by heat, because they do heat up um, very hot, actually. So they do come with uh, mounting holes here. You can use tie straps to secure. Now, the reason we've got these uh, needle nose pliers is I just I find it easy in order to completely secure everything. Just use a pair of pliers, and you're good to go. And if you have any questions, just give us a call, one 522 2701